Welcome to the AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. Today I'm talking with Erica Brescia, CEO of Bitnami. Welcome to the AWS Report. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here. So let's talk a bit about the Bitnami concept. So Bitnami is basically an application library. So we have about 45 different uh, web application and development environments. Everything from Drupal and Alfresco, Liferay, Sugar CRM, to development environments like Django or LAMP uh, or Ruby on Rails. And we make them very easy to deploy natively, virtually, and of course, in the cloud. It sounds now as if the cloud is a very natural extension of what you were doing previously. Was that always the case, or was it something of a risk or a of a jump to go to the cloud? Um, you know, I wouldn't say it was a risk. I mean, certainly when we started working on this, um, the cloud wasn't as popular, so it wasn't something that we were paying a huge amount of attention to, but really where our strength lies is in making software easy to deploy anywhere. So it was pretty natural for us, you know, after starting with the native stuff and then going to VMs that as a new platform became available, that we'd support that. And we also had a lot of push from our ISV clients who were saying, look, we trust you, you've been packaging our software to run everywhere else, what do we do about the cloud? How do we get there? You know, what, what are people looking for? So it, it, it was kind of, you know, it made sense to us, but it was also a client demand issue. All right, now are your customers necessarily aware that they're running on AWS or is it pretty much masked in, in the background for them? Right now they're aware that they're running on AWS. So there are two ways that you can get Bitnami applications on AWS. You can go and get an AMI either through your marketplace or directly from our website. Um, or you can use Bitnami Cloud uh, Hosting, which is our platform that provides some additional automation on top of AWS. Sounds great. Now, how has AWS helped you to succeed? Uh, a lot of ways. <laughs> so I actually gave a talk. It was actually with AWS. I was on the Lean Startup um, event that you did. It was a webcast some time ago. And we were talking about a slight pivot that we did with our Bitnami Cloud Hosting Service. So initially, we actually started out with something that was a lot more complex in terms of how the deployments worked out and more targeted towards um, test and development as a first step. And with AWS, we were able to very quickly build that out and start testing it with customers and find that what they really wanted was actually something simpler. The thing they got the most excited about was pushing a button and having their app running on AWS in just a few minutes. And um, using AWS saved us a ton of time and money with that, um, letting us very quickly change directions without having invested in a bunch of hardware that we wouldn't need. Um, another thing is we just recently moved all of our build and test over. So you can imagine with a library of 50 different applications and development environments, multiple OSs, multiple architectures, all of the availability zones that you now support, uh, we have a huge test matrix. And we were able to cut our test time from about 18 hours per cycle to about two hours per cycle and saved over 50% of our costs. And we couldn't have done that uh, without AWS. All right, well, I really appreciate this time we've had to talk, and thank you so much for coming by. Thanks for having me. All right, my pleasure. Thanks for watching the AWS Report. This is Jeff Barr.